Hello guys, uh, ito po tayo ngayon sa ating munting opisina at tayo po ay nagpaplano para sa uh, kunting uh, project natin para bukas. So ito po yung uh, electrical plan na na pinag-aralan natin kung paano natin i-improve yung lighting circuit nila sa kanilang bahay. Kasi ang sabi po sa may-ari, uh, medyo madilim raw kasi po tigi isang uh, lighting outlet lang po yung nasa nasa bawat sulok ng kanilang bahay. So sa layout na ito, mayroong dalawang bedroom at uh, isang comfort room, dining area at saka living room. So, bawat sulok niyan ay isang ilaw lamang. So, yung sabi niya ng may-ari sa akin ay eh, eh, papa-improve daw. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, pag-aralan muna natin yung mga parts ng buong electrical plan. Kung ano-ano yung mga parts dito, i-explain natin kahit uh, konting explanation lang para natin maintindihan lahat. Uh, saka na po natin papasukin yung revision ng or additional ng mga lighting circuit ng kanilang bahay. So these are the parts of an electrical plan. So ito, itong project na to is actually a one story. Yan. One story residential building. So sa katunayan ay eh, ano, tinatakpan lang natin muna yung owner's name. Hindi natin papakita. Uh, para na rin po sa kanyang uh, privacy. Okay? So, ito po yun siya. Then, so, una natin talakayin, uh, mas mabuti talakayin natin muna yung yung circuit layout. Yan. Yung sinasabi natin, one line diagram. So, dito pa lang makikita na natin kung uh, ilang circuit branch ba ang bahay na to. So actually, this is around 3 years ago ang planong ito and ginagamit na itong bahay ito sa loob ng tatlong taon. So ang nangyari na siguro medyo nakaluwag-luwag na yung mayari kaya ang sabi niya uh, i-improve lang muna yung lighting system dito kasi medyo madilim eh. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, since yung lighting layout niya rito ay talaga lima lang yung loads natin, lighting loads. Yun. So, we have here, isa, two, three, four, and five lighting circuit only. So, medyo madilim kasi may kalatihan tong bahay to. This is around six by nine matters yung lapad ng bahay yung area niya kaya yun so ito sa ngayon sa one line diagram natin makikita natin yung parts ng wiring system so we have first branch of the circuit that is LO LO means uh, that means uh, lighting outlet then the second branch of the circuit is CO or a convenience outlet then we have the main circuit breaker, 30 amperes yung gagamitin or yung ginagamit nila. Sa 3080 means the amperes, amper 3 yung tawag dyan. Okay? Then proper grounding of course for every metal part ng circuit. Yan. So mayroon dyan yung size ng wire na ginagamit sa uh, service entrance. Yan. At saka yung mula sa metro natin. Yung M na yan. Yan. Yung yung indicator na metro. So, maya maya uh, tatalakayin natin yan. Okay? So, next part of this uh, electrical plan, of course, we have the location plan. Yung location plan po, importante di po diyan. Nang sa gayon ay ma malalaman nyo kung saan banda no sa isang lugar itong project na to so diyan nakaka-indicate yung site plan or location plan yung streets 
no? Na maaring daanan or puntahan hangga't maaari ay eh, meron din mga indicators ng mga establishment, mga mga kilalang establishment para di pumaligaw yung maghahanap sa project na ito or sa location na ito. Yun yung site plan or location plan. Then we have here the region, of course, uh, indicating the different symbols, each sign or symbol, and of course, each meaning. So, hayan po lahat sa uh, legion makikita natin. So, yung mga symbol na ginagamit dito sa layout, of course, dapat makikita dito sa ating legion. Ayan. Okay? Next one, we have the general notes and specifications. So, dito po yung yung basihan sa lahat ng mga mga kagamitan or types of wiring installation yung ginagamit, materials. So, dito po naka-specify ang lahat dito po sa general specifications natin. Based on the Philippine Electrical Code yan. Okay? So, yan. Then, Bago natin puntahan yung lighting layout kasi base po dito sa electrical plan na to, uh, dalawang yung layout na ipinapakita nila. So we have four, the lighting layout at saka yung power supply layout. So bago natin puntahan yan, uh, talakayan muna natin itong computations of load. Yan, schedule and computation of loads. So, we use the panel board. Then, we have here the computation of the load. So, run circuit number we have here. Run circuit number 1, number 2, and then number 3. So, for run circuit number 1, we have for the lighting outlet. Run circuit number 2, we have for the convenience outlet. And run circuit number 3 is actually for the spare. So, 4 holes panel board ang gamit dito. So, yung pang-apat po is automatic for the main circuit breaker. Okay? So, yung main circuit breaker sa, dat, sa dati nilang bahay is around 30 amperes. Pero, titingnan muna natin kung ilan na ba dapat yung gagamitin nilang uh, circuit, main circuit breaker. Maya-maya po. Okay? So, talakayin natin muna kung paano ba talaga mag-compute ng load sa isang uh, sa isang bahay. Ayan. So first one, talakayin natin yung branch circuit number 1, CCT number 1 or circuit number 1. Yun yung ibig sabihin niyan. Branch circuit number 1, we have four uh, lighting outlet. Yun yung panel description niya. So naka-indicate diyan, close and open parenthesis po. Uh, we have 50 amperes. So, meaning to say, each of the lighting outlet is using or having around 50 watts only. Okay? So, number of outlet, yung nasa layout natin is around 5. Balikan natin yung lighting layout niya. Yan. So, we have 1, 2, we have 3 in the comfort room, 4 in the bedroom, and five in the next bedroom so we have around five lighting outlet for the brand circuit number one okay so ve that is volt amperes how to get 250 volt amperes volt amperes meaning that is what we call a that is what we call a watt okay that is the watts no 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 i'm sorry Volt amperes meaning taken from the number of the outlet and the wattages used in the outlet. So let's say for instance, branch circuit number one we have here, the lightings having 50 watts each of the light or the lighting unit. So we have five, that is five times 50, that is equivalent to 250 volt amperes or watts. Okay, then we have here the input voltage, input voltage of 230 volts. So that is equivalent to 
amperes. So, paano nakuha yung 1.08 amperes? Yan. Yun yung pinaka-importante dito. Okay? So, let's say for, in, uh, for example, ito. Uh, Kukumpitin muna natin, guys. Um, medyo malabo yun. Ano? Yan. Yan ito na lang. Medyo malabo. Okay? So, lighting outlet natin, we have around 5 outlets, right? So, compute natin yung 5. Compute natin yung 5 outlet times 50 watts. Yan. 50 watts. Okay. That is equivalent to 250 watts for the whole lighting outlet. Okay. So, 250 watts divided by the 230 volts as our input. Okay? So, that is equivalent to uh, 1.08 amperes. Yung yung current na makukonsumo within 5 loads of the lighting outlet 50 watts each of the outlet so 5 times 50 that is equivalent to 250 watts 250 watts divided by the 230 volts inputs that is equivalent to 1.08 amperes as the current rating okay so we will use of course the main circuit breaker for our for our lighting outlet which is the 15 amperes so meaning to say yung gagamitin nating amperage rating ng ating circuit breaker for the lighting outlet yan is always not less than 15 amperes okay so yun yung general rules natin according to Philippine Electrical Code. Yan. Kasi lighting outlet. Alright? So, puntahan naman natin yung ano, yung power layout. Alright? So, yung power layout dito, example, Alright, so ito. So, let us continue on the uh, power outlet or yung convenience outlet. CO, the convenience outlet. So, dito sa convenience outlet, mapapansin niyo. For the run circuit number 2, we have around, uh, we have around 5, no? we have around 5 branches of the circuit. Ayan, lumalabo yung ano. Kita nyo guys. Ayan. Number of outlets for the convenience outlet is only 5. Parang 6. <laughs> Hindi malabo eh. Medyo lumalabo eh. Yan, 5. Okay. So, we have the volt amperes or the wattages is around 1,000. Paano nakuha yung 1,000? Kasi yung 1,000 yan ay actually kinukuha from the wattages used for every branch of the convenience outlet. Let's say for instance, we have 5 convenience outlet. 5 convenience outlet 
as 200 watts each of the convenience outlet. Kasi standard yun eh. So, so 5 times 200 watts that is equivalent to 1,000 watts. Kuha nyo guys. So, 5 at 200 watts usually. So, expected na yan. Parang uh, constant yan kasi for every outlet dapat hindi lalagbas sa 200 watts bawat isang convenience outlet. So, bawal talaga yung sinasabi nating octopus wiring connections. Nasa isang outlet, sasaksakan mo ng isang extension wire, tapos yung, yung isang extension wire, may nakasaksak na dalawang extension wire, bawat tig isang extension wire, may another na naman na na extension wire again na may mga gamit mga charger or whatever yun yung sinasabi natin na tinatawag natin octopus wiring connection so bawal kasi lalagpas at lalagpas ka dyan sa sinasabi natin constant or yung limit lang uh, permitted ng Philippine Electrical Code sa bawat convenience outlet which is only 200 watts alright So, meron tayong 1,000 watt dyan or 1,000 volt amperes. Yun yung uh, dahilan kung bakit mayroong 1,000 volt amperes or watt na nakasulat dyan. So, 1,000 watt uh, divided by, uh, divide natin yan into, so 1K watt divided by 230 volts. Yung 230 volts natin again is coming from our input voltage which is 230 na kaindikit dito sa plan. So, 1K or 1 kilowatt divided by 230 volts that is equivalent to uh, ilan ba yun? Yung 1K. That is around 4.34. So, 1K divided by 230 volts that is equivalent to Uh, 4.34 amperes. Yan. So, yun yung current na makukonsumo niya sa 1,000 watts over the 230 volts. Okay? So, total of 4.3 uh, 4.34 plus yung kanina ng ano sa lighting outlet which is a uh, 1.08 1.08 amperes that is equals uh, to around 5.34 a uh, 43 that is equivalent to 5. 43 amperes as our total current 5.43 amperes as our total current so dito guys, klarong klaro yan sa computation dito sa ating computation sub load ayan so therefore, yung total nya is around 5.43 uh, amperes and we should have to use the 30 amperes for since we have the 15 amperes for the first branch of the circuit then 20 amperes amperes for for the convenience outlet then most probably our main circuit breaker now is 30 amperes kasi hindi ka pwedeng uh, bababa yun sa load na ginagamit natin na meron na tayong 20 at saka 15 amperes so automatic yan 30 amperes yung pinaka main circuit breaker natin okay so Example lang yan. Okay? So, what if, kasi dito sa ano, dito sa circuit na to, wala pa siyang aircon. Example lang po. Okay? Yung spare, blanco lang. So, walang laman. Pero may anticipated siya na size of the wires and they can do it only. Ayun lang yung preparation niya. So, what if we're going to use 
the spare as our uh, ACU. Ano ba yung ACU? Air conditioning unit. So, sa isang air conditioning unit, of course, isang branch ng circuit natin as branch 3 using that spare automatic serve as one branch of the circuit. Meaning to say, solo lang niya yung number of uh, outlet. Isa lang. Isang ACU, isang uh, circuit breaker dapat. So, in this case, isang unit lang ang ilalagay natin. So, one ACU only at yung standard kasi dapat sa isang air conditioning unit or for the special purpose outlet, dapat gagamit tayo ng 2,000 kilo no, 2 kilowatt na gagamitin. So, meaning to say, we have 2,000 watts na dapat natin ilagay. Okay? Sa, dito sa ating volt amperes or wattages. Dito dapat. Yes. So, dapat meron ditong 2,000. If in case, this is one unit of the ACU, one unit lang, and then, one uh, 2,000 kilowatts na gagamitin natin dapat sa volt amperes or wattages natin. Then, the same 230 volts natin. So, we will now compute for the amperage rating na, or amperage or current na nagagamit sa isang 1 unit of air conditioning unit at 2,000 watts. Okay? So, 2K, this is around 2KW, 2,000 watts, divided by the 230 volts, that is equivalent to um, 8.6, 8.69 amperes. Yun yung makakonsumo ng isang air conditioning unit sa 230 volts. 8.69 amperes. Now, if we are going to add from the first branch of the circuit, that is 1.08 the second branch of the circuit that is uh, 4.3 plus the third branch of the circuit is 8.69 we have a total of uh, 3,000 3,250 amperes all in all Saan ba yung nakukuha yung 3,250 amperes? Yun na yun kung uh, lalagyan natin ng air conditioning unit ang isang uh, bahay sa ganitong load lamang. Okay? So, we have from 1.08 amperes plus yung 4.34 amperes plus yung 8.69 amperes for a total of 3,250 amperes. Yun yun. Okay? So, yung 3,250 amperes natin, guys, mm -hmm, will be divided to Again, to 230 volts. Okay? To get the total amperage rating. Yan. To get this one, actually here. So, dapat ganitong gagawin na natin. Total of the current divided by the total voltage, which is 230 volts. And the answer is, we have, what is the answer? We have 13.14 amperes. Yun yung total current natin na magagamit sa ganong klaseng computation. So, 13.14 amperes lang. So, ang mangyari, uh, pwede na natin palitan. Kasi dapat yung kanina kasi, yung circuit breaker dyan, as you can observe oh. 
So, branch circuit number 1. Yan. Yung branch circuit number 1 natin, lighting outlets. So, we have 5 lighting outlets at 50 watts. That is 250 watts also or volt amperes. Divided by 230, that is equivalent to 1.08 at 15 amperes. Yung convenience outlet, automatic yan, 20 amperes ang gagamitin natin. So, yung spare, ginagamit na natin as the ACU, ayan. Gagamitin natin dito is only one, of course, special outlet. 2,000 dito, 230 volts again. For the amperage rating of the 1,000, that is 1,000 divided by uh, 230 volts, that is equivalent to 8.69 amperes dito, yan, based on our computation, 8.69 amperes, then dito dapat uh, 2P 30 amperes. So, ang mangyari, yung, yung main circuit breaker natin, eh, dapat hindi na 30, kasi gagamitin natin yung 30 dito sa ating uh, ACU or the air conditioning unit. So, therefore, we could use, again, another branch of circuit. Itong 30 amperes, uh, lipat natin dito at provide tayo ng another main circuit breaker which is 40 ampere trip or 80. So, yun yung mangyayari, guys. Alright? So, sana may natutunan sa computations ng load. And of course, dito again, sa total demand factor computation. So, yung total natin is actually, uh, hindi na siya 100, uh, 1,250, but we have already 3,250 amperes. Yung 3,200 amperes, amperes natin, di-divide natin dyan sa ating total current na 13.14 amperes to get the uh, to get the total current for our demand factor. So, lalabas niyan, uh, compute natin. Okay. So, ito guys, paano natin makuha yung demand factor. Okay. So, ang dati natin computation, we have around 1,250 watts over the 230 volts. So, total current niya is 5.43 amperes. Yung 5.53 amperes actually, to get the demand factor there is, uh, we have 5.43. Ang uh, ginagamit natin demand factor is around 80%. So, 5.43 times 0.80 because 80% is converted to decimal point. That is, uh, 5.43 times 0.8. So, the answer is around 4.34 amperes as our total demand factor. So, ang mangyari sa atin, yung additional na, may additional na tayong air conditioning unit. So, yung demand factor natin is, for the computations for the demand factor is actually 13.14 uh, amperes already. So, base yan sa, da, uh, sa previous nating uh, kinukuhang computations na 13.14 amperes times the 80% which is 0.80 already so we have the answer of 10.5 amperes for our demand factor or total demand factor ok so alright guys so we will now proceed on the layout the circuit layout. So, we have again, we have the lighting layout and the power layout. So, let's na natin discuss yung power supply layout dito. Papakita na lang natin yung power layout. So, based on the computations of the load, so, meron lang tayong 5 convenience outlet. So, dito sa circuit nila, eh, wala na yung ano, wala yun actually yung additional nating load mula sa spare yung ACU or air conditioning unit. So, dito ay meron lang around 5 convenience outlet only, which is started from here, the brand circuit number 2. Yan po. So,
So from that we have one convenience outlet sa ano na to sa sa living room tapos may isang convenience outlet din continuation niya sa kabilang kwarto sa first bedroom then for the another bedroom there is another one then pangapat itong convenience outlet na to sa sa dining area at meron din dito sa kabilang banda na convenience outlet. Supposedly, pag mayroong air conditioning unit yung plano, uh, dito po dapat yung ACU. No? Uh, before I forgot, yung symbol po ng ACU or air conditioning unit is ganito po. Yan. May triangle lang. Tapos shaded siya. Yan. Shaded lang siya. Yan. Shaded shade lang yung ano yung triangle and then my circle dapat yan so yun yung dapat na symbol ng ACU A C U or for this symbol yan okay guys so dito walang problema at wala tayong babaguhin dito kasi yung tatrabahoin lang natin is yung lighting layout lamang. Wala tayong gagalawin dito sa power layout kasi uh, wala pa namang uh, auto sa atin. So, as is na yan. Guys. Alright? So, we will now move on the lighting layout. So, as you can observe, lilima lang yung loads dito sa first branch of the circuit. Branch circuit number 1. Ayan. So, we have A, we have the B, dito sa dining area, we have C here in the comfort room, we have D in the second bedroom, and in the first bedroom, we have the, the other uh, lighting outlet. Okay, so A, B, C, D, and E actually, right? So, ang gagawin natin, for since nag-request yung may-ari na, na magkaroon tayo ng additional lighting circuit. Kasi, yung ganito kasing uh, circuit connections sa lighting layout niya ay parang kulang talaga. Uh, we only have 5 uh, loads or 5 bulbs only within this kind of an area. This is around 6 by 9 na area ng bahay so talaga kulang to so we will make a design for this to solve the problem na sabi nila madilim raw at may shadow yung ano lalong lalo na pag sa gabi uh, halatang may shadow yung yung tao na dumaraan or whatever kasi yung other side po yung walang light nasa center lang lahat as you can observe yan center lang lahat center lang so let's go guys gawa natin ang bagong layout para natin ma 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 estimate yung mga materials na dapat bilhin ng may ari alright let's go there alright guys so ito na yung ano uh, ini transfer lang natin yung uh, lighting layout mula doon sa electrical plan so para natin mabigyan ng kaliwanagan kung paano tayo mag additional ng mga loads dito sa light circuit na to okay? so since yung una kasi yung yung ceiling nila eh wala pa no? wala pang kesami doon eh ngayon nagpapa gawa na sila ng kesami so, yun, may mga disinyo na doon. Kaya, gawa natin siya ng panibagong layout for the additional lights na para masolve yung problem na madilim raw sa bahay nila. Okay? So, as you can observe, we have only uh, one load yan. At the center lang yun dati. Lahat ng mga sulok sa bahay is only one load or one bulb only. 
at the center lang nakalagay. Okay? So, talaga, check na madilim yan. So, ang gawin natin, guys, dito sa living room, ito yung ating tinatawag na lighting layout pala. I'm sorry. Uh, lighting layout. Okay. So we have here the lighting layout based yung sa no sa plano ng bahay dati. Okay? So yun. Um yung sabi, uh, meron daw design yung center ng living room at the center. Medyo parang pahalaba no parihaba yung sukat diyan sa center. Parang additional na design. At dito sa ano dito sa dito sa gilid ng division nila eh meron daw yung ano parang wall din sa kesame ah napalibot daw yung ano ganyan saka dito rin meron saka rito rin meron daw yun yung design and at the center of that meron ding another design na medyo pahalaba rin ang sukat. So, yan yung paplano natin paano masolve yung problem na madilim. Okay? Of course, uh, we will advise na palitan yung ilaw kasi yung gamit nila doon is only uh, ordinary bulb. Gumagamit lang sila ng CFL or com compact fluorescent lamp. So, siguro mas mabuti yung uh, request natin is yung center lamp no? na medyo malaking bilog na decorative light yan then dito sa tabi nito okay tanggalin na muna natin okay so yan ganun eh parang ganun yun okay yun and then dapat lalagyan rin natin ng pin lights dito guys so dapat may pin lights dito meron din ditong pin light Okay. at saka around this part meron din sanang pin light ok papaprove natin yan sa mga hari. then another pin lights of course from the side of the walls kasi yun yung importante dito guys so sa corner na to dapat yun natin makikita yung pin light so pasok lang natin ng konti para medyo may distance dito. Ito yung pin light. Another pin light here. Then, dito ulit. May pin light rin. Saka dito. Another pin light also here. So, lalabas dyan. Around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, yung control dito actually, no? Kasi pintuan tong area na to. Dito yung pinto. So, dito dapat yung switch line. Control point niya dito. Dito sa banda to. So, ang gagawin natin guys, we have one control line here for the center lamp natin. So, it should be controlled papunta doon sa atin control point yan so solo lang niya kasi pag sindi ng ano ng ng center lamp na to isa lang yung control niya kibali yung gagamitin natin guys is around 3 gang single pole switch okay that is actually S3 3 gang single pole switch yung gagamitin natin So, another control here. Itong apat na to. Apat na pin light na to. Sabay-sabay lang sila dapat 
ilaw. Okay? Or, pag mag-approve yung may-ari, na apat ang pinlight sa paligid niyan. So, susundin natin. Pero pag ayaw siyang mag-approve, i-re-revise natin. Okay? So, halimbawa, yung apat na pinlight dito, sa center design ng kanilang sesame, uh, automatic yan, sabay-sabay yan. One line only for this. Meaning to say, iisa lang yung control nito. Combined yung dot apat, tapos yung control switch nya dapat dito rin pupunta para sa ating 3 gang single pole switch. Ayan. Okay? So, pag sa isang control ng 3 gang single pole switch, yung isa sa center this na alam, pangalawa, yung apat na pin lights. Automatic, sabay-sabay yung apat. Nakaparallel yan. Okay? Then, for the another four uh, pin lights here, yung dito sa gilid, yan, at saka ito, at saka ito po. One control of switch also. Para ma-consume or ma-maximize natin yung 3 gang single pole switch. Kasi dalawa pa lang yung nagagamit natin na linya. Okay? So, ang mangyari, combine pa rin itong apat nito from here. Kukombine natin yan dapat to make it parallel. Okay? Yan. Then, dapat dito, nakakombine rin siya. Alright? Ganun, mangyari. Then, itong uh, last bulb na to, dapat, nandi dito rin, manggagaling yung control switch nya. Okay? So, ngayon, yung trigam single pole switch natin, ay, na ma-maximize na. Isa, first single pole switch para sa center, lamp. Second, single pole switch natin ay para sa ating apat na pin lights. Then, the third single pole switch natin is for yung nasa gilid na mga pin lights also. So, dapat yun, ganun yung mangyari guys. Okay? Pero, once na ma-redesign na naman, let's say for instance guys, Tanggalin muna natin apat na to rito. Example lang po. Let's say, ayaw ng, mga, ng may ari na sobrang dami naman. So, gawan natin siya ng panibagong design. So, this is actually electrical planning and design. Alright? So, let's say, um, bawas-bawasan. Sabihin natin na, babawasan niya yung number of lights natin or pin lights dito. So, yan ang gagawin natin. Importante, meron tong uh, support itong center lamp natin to avoid shadowing inside the room. Yun yung pag-prevent ng shadow eh. So, kahit mag-selfie ka, kahit mag-picture-picture ka, for as long as yung all lighting circuit inside that room is energized. Wala nang shadow na makikita natin. Yun yung importante. So, ganito guys, dalawa na lang. Nabawasan ng dalawa. So, this is more advisable and acceptable pa rin. Kahit dalawa lang, at least yung yung ano, yung balance ng light na kukuha pa rin. Eh. Yung sa uh, illuminacy uh, rules or protocols na kukuha pa rin natin. So, yan. Uh, pwede pa rin yan, acceptable yan so ang mangyari again itong dalawang bulb na to dapat ay nakakombine pa rin sila sa isa't isa using with only one control switch right here so yun pa rin yung gagamitin ng control switch line natin sana po naintindihan yung pagkagawa anyway, uh, gawan ko kayo ng malinaw na illustration kasi lapis lang po to Mamaya po, pakita ko sa inyo yung final po na nakabolpe na po para maliwanag sa inyong lahat. Okay po ba? Okay, sige. Uh, we will proceed first uh, again to the um, what do you call this? The dining area. Ito po yung dining area natin. 
So, yung dining area natin, as you can observe, isang ilaw na naman. Nasa center lang pa rin. So, yung sabi ng mga ari, the same. Kung ano yung design ng living area, almost the same pa rin dun sa dining area. Kasi, kas kasalukuyan pa rin ginagawa yung ano, yung kesa Manila. So, most probably, yung design is almost the same. Ika nga. So, more or less, meron na naman dito ng walls sa, sa gilid nito. Okay? Meron na namang walls ata. Then, dito rin meron walls. Okay? So, napalibot na or na, nasa paligid lang yung mga walls dito. Okay? At the center again, yung center again, meron din namang design. Hmm. Yung design. So, ang gawa naman natin, we'll advise again yung may-ari na magkaroon ng additional light things dito. Hanggat maaari. Okay. So, once the owner will accept the first proposal of our design, then most probably we will only we will also apply around this part dun sa dining area so yung dining area actually uh, yung open side niya or door side is dito po dito yung door side so more or less yung ano yung switch control point is dito nakalagay so itong center lamp na to dyan then another design yan ganyan almost the same design pin lights dito pin lights dito pin lights to pin lights again dito tapos dito ulit mayroong pin lights again at saka dito po pin lights pa rin so the same yung center line our center lights gagamitan natin ng isang single pole switch most probably we will use again the 3 gang single pole switch okay so yung switch control point po dito so ito here siya ganun ah sabi natin yung ano yan yan and then yung dalawang to of course dapat nakakombine sila as parallel to each other meaning isang control lang sila sa isang switch so another control line for that matter then yung apat dito again isa din yung control nila nakakombine lang so once you switch off the the switch control line automatic the four of this bulb automatically off each other sabay sabay lahat ok so yung control point po dito yung control line ayan ok next dito sa CR comfort room uh, kahit dalawa lang dito pwede na yan hindi na masyadong mano dito uh, mahirap gawan ok so or else solo lang sya yung switch naman niya is dito so more or less pag isa lang sya ganun lang or tanggalin natin dito yung center palitan natin ng dalawa sa isang ligid yan sa, gil sa gilid nito wala na itong center tapos sabay sindi na yung dalawa using the single pole switch only pwede rin ok depende na lang yung sa approval nya alright so for the meantime isa lang yung proposal natin na ano na bug dyan then dito sa room so itong room na to is actually bedroom bahay tulugan lang or silid tulugan lang siya so di na siguro kailangan mas madaming ilaw dito ok so medyo sabi walang ano dito walang design so more or less may center 
Tapos may apat dito na mga pin lights. Yan. Pin lights. So more or less, gagamitin natin is only uh, two gang single pole switch only around this part. Okay? So itong isang to, solo lang niya. Yung control niya. Yan, pupunta sa ating tugang control switch. Tapos yung apat dito, combine, combine, at saka ito, combine. So, control switch nya is dito. So, we only have to use two single pole switch, which is what we call a tugang single pole switch. Okay? We will proceed in the other room. Uh, this is not just a bed bedroom actually, but we were planning to use this one as one of the uh, special room sometimes used as an office to have a privacy in terms of working the documents or papers kasi yung mayari nito is isang teacher so dapat raw may isang room na para sa pagtatrabaho especially po paggawa ng mga reports para hindi siya madisturbo Walang istorbo sa ano. Kasi minsan makukulit yung mga bata. Kaya dapat may special room po. No? Uh, para po makagawa ng mga reports or mga submetables. Ayan. So dito sa room na to, uh, kailangan uh, maliwanag yung loob. Kasi mahirap yung ano. Mahirap yung magtatrabaho ka sa loob tapos kulang yung lights mo so we will advise again to have a center lamp here yung malalaki tapos uh, wala tong design kasi so dito yung mga pin lights na lang pin lights dito pin lights dito pin lights dito yan so more or less yung gagamitin natin is around 2 gang single pull switch again Ah, uh, dito yung doorway. So dapat more or less dito yung control switch niya. Yung center lamp automatic control dito, gamit ang single pull switch. Tapos yung apat dito, guys, nakakonect each other again. And then use it as well. Yeah. Okay. So, sana guys, uh, masunod to and bukas papakita ko sa inyo papano to tatrap, uh, gawin. But before I forgot, of course, I need to present to you the final layout in our, uh, in, a, in a meanwhile. So, ayan guys, yung mga naka-assigned na, na mga lighting circuit. Okay? So, yung comfort room po, dito po, yung comfort room. Uh, isa lang yung susundin natin ilaw. And then, dito po sa isang kwarto. So, dapat ang isang kwarto po, dapat uh, gagamitin tayo ng center lamp dyan. Yung mga decorative lamp po, para mas maganda. Okay? So, we will just assume na gagamitin natin tong circle na to. Para pagawa ng ano, ng... Uh, circle pin plate nya yan so yung yung gagawin natin yan yan guys ok so nag isa lang kasi ako dito eh. kaya mahirap gawin yung ano yung paggawa ng uh, pin plate walang hahawak po sa phone ko Kaya yun, medyo nahihirapan ako dito. Yan. Yan. Okay. So, yung mga nasa center dyan, ay yung mga center lamp na yan. Ay yung mga decorative lamp na yan. Yun yung i-request natin. So, pabilog yung ano, yung design. Saka yung mga nasa gilid po, na mga lighting circuit, yun yun pong mga pin lights. Usually, mga 4 watts yung gagamitin lang natin kasi yung dito, mga around 12 watts or 18 watts nandito. Mas malaki to. Dapat. 
Okay? So, ayan. Yun yung design na ibibigay natin sa may-ari. And of course, dito, meron din dapat itong mga pin lights din. Lalagyan muna natin. Just wait lang po kasi medyo mahirap po. Hawakan yung phone ko. Ah, Nag-iisa lang po ako nito kasi. Ayan. Sana di mahulog. Kasi yung pa ako lang yung may hawak nito. Okay guys. Ayan guys. Huwag mahulog. Baka mabasag yung phone ko. Ayan. So, this is just to assume. Pero more or less, uh, yung gagamitin natin dito is around 2 feet. 2 feet mula dito sa corner. Saka 2 feet din mula dito. So, yun yung uh, usual na ginagamit ko. Depende pag may design. Of course, pag may design sa gilid, eh, automatic yun. Kukunin mo ng center to center. Especially po dito. Dito sa bandang to. Kwartong to. At ito. Pag may design siya, automatic yung design na mismo magbibigay ng center. So, pag around 3 feet yung design, dito, 3 feet yung, yung wall dito, so automatic 1.5 to center. Okay? 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Yun yung dapat. So, pag walang design, automatic. It's either 2.5 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 2 by 2. Yun yung yung simple. Guys. So, next natin gagawin ay yung circuiting, branch circuiting. So, since we only have one branch for the lighting circuit, so all of this one here is being combined as a one branch. So, yung ano na lang, yung, yung locations ng mga control devices nito or control switches nito. At alin ba yung nakakombine. So, just wait for it. Ayan, na ikukombine na natin yung mga dapat ikukombine na mga ilaw. Ayan. So, next natin gagawin is yung branch circuit line at saka yung control line kung saan dapat nakakontrol. Okay? Just wait for a while. So, ayan. Ayan na yung branch circuit line niya for the branch circuit number 1. So, Ito na yun guys. So, ang next na natin gagawin ay yung ano na lang. Yung switch control line. So, based doon sa unang pinakita kong ano, uh, procedure ng pagbibigay ng switching uh, location. So, yun yung ipapalo natin. So, Ayan guys, uh, tapos na yung uh, mga branch circuit line at saka yung control switch line. Ayan. So, hindi na ito po bukas.